Hi, so I'm Jamie Smith. I'm the executive chairman of C Learning, which is a Google Premier Education partner. Jamie, can you talk to us a little bit about uh, matching the needs of employers and learners for the future and the use of technology to be able to deliver that? Yes, absolutely. Now, I believe passionately that for educators to be producing people that are relevant for industry in the world of work now, we, and of course we're in the digital age now, so um, that, that's affecting everything in terms of how we work and live and how we're going to thrive in the future. And I think that for educators what this means is that as we adopt cloud technology more, um, and particularly in my company does a lot of work around um, Google G Suite technology, now that's collaborative by design, but there's but the point is, is that cloud technology enables you to learn, work, and connect differently. Uh, you can connect on different devices. And the reason this is relevant for business is because any business, really, that's going to thrive in the future has to be digitally enabled. It has to be using cloud technology. Uh, it'll do it in its own way. And there's lots of different software out there and lots of different tools. Um, but the point is, is that there's a, there's a certain element of uh, this a Ken Robinson phrase of innovation isn't optional. So you've got to innovate to remain relevant. Uh, certainly in the UK, we need to start exporting more. I think the EdTech movement in the UK is amazing. Uh, there are some incredible education technology companies in the UK, uh, and I think they could export what they do a lot more as well. Um, and they're all very um, digitally connected, as you'd expect. They're using cloud-based technology to connect and collaborate and thrive. And I think that what this means for young people in colleges and in our schools is they need a certain baseline level of what often gets called digital literacy, which I know means a number of different things to different people. But to me, um, it means about knowing how to use the internet and all of the tools that come with it wisely to thrive and prosper in the digital age. And that could be anything from enhancing your online digital profile uh, so that you become attractive to employers and also relevant and also showcase what you can do. It's not about arrogance or being um, you know, showboating. It's about being able to connect to anyone anywhere in the world um, where you can add value um, and where you have relevant skills. And so I think there's a huge opportunity to help young people to become more digitally savvy, so to speak, with, with these tools. Uh, and almost, um, if you get it right, the jobs find the young people as opposed to the other way around. But I'm also passionate about young people seeing the opportunities that the internet provides as well. So it isn't just about being relevant for industry as it is now. It's about young people having the digital skills to start their own businesses and their own enterprises. I do a lot of work with young people around this, helping them to um, avoid making mistakes that they can avoid and make new mistakes, that's fine. Making new mistakes is innovation, it happens. Everybody running businesses makes new mistakes all the time, that's part of innovation. But I think if they've got those digital skills, they have the opportunity to start their own business and do their own things. Um, again, I have the luxury and privilege of meeting a lot of these people and I see young people developing the most extraordinary things. In some cases, their own apps and their own technologies that are going to go on and become multi-million pound businesses. But it's a very different sort of world we're in now. So in the digital age, you can create a billion dollar company by employing 10, 20 people, not 10, 20,000 people. Um, so it's a very disruptive time and of course that's scary for some people. Um, I think that uh, we have to embrace the change though. It's like the old Tolkien quote, you can fence yourself in but you can't fence the world out. And I think that um, looking to the future, I think um, those businesses that are going to thrive and prosper will have a digital vision, a digital strategy that's aligned to what the world need, needs and how the world works now digitally. But also they will recruit people and be looking for people who have a certain level of digital literacy and digital skills. Uh, that means an understanding of cloud, that means understanding of apps, that means understanding of how to amplify what you do online and to do so in a way that engages people rather than pushes stuff at them because none of us like stuff being pushed at us do we so there's a lot of work been done on how much our brains already filter stuff out when we're constantly bombarded with digital messages and spam emails and everything else um, I think uh, it's not about pushing things to people I think it's about pulling people closer to you and I think businesses are now looking for people who can who can do that who can who can connect to other people that will matter to that company and, and pull them closer